President, you expect to host it with the Rouse Golf Chancellor? Course or the, the G7? Yeah, it's seeming to set up the best. It's close to the, uh, we haven't made a final decision, but it's right next to the airport, right right there, meaning, you know, a few minutes away. It's, uh, it's a great place. Well, it certainly doesn't look very good at all. I mean, the president hasn't really t cut ties the way that most candidates do or even presidents do with their uh, economic dealings. Most candidates and presidents will put in what's called a blind trust. And the president tried to convince us that by turning his business over to his sons, it was essentially a blind, blind trust, which it wasn't at all. The Emoluments Clause uh, prohibits the president from any sort of material gain uh, during the presidency based upon the decisions made as president. And so certainly this looks really bad. Now, it, nothing has actually been done and no crime has committed, been committed, but uh, the fact that the president would suggest such a thing indicates that the president just doesn't understand what this is about and why it is a big deal. They love the location of the hotel and they also like the fact that it's right next to the airport. Convenience. Well, these were one of the biggest concerns of the founders of the Constitution. They did not want anybody to be bought off by many of the different kings and princesses of uh, Europe who were always looking to try to find leverage in the New World. And so trying to figure out if somebody can take advantage of our, you know, most powerful government in the entire world, that's a bit concerning. And it's Miami. Doral, Miami. So it's a great area. This has been an absolute total cut from the past in terms of process. Now, the president has tried to talk it up a big game, saying that he has no interest, that he's actually losing money. That's actually not the case. Uh, and that his sons are running the show. But that's sort of like the mob boss mentality, where the mob boss, as Michael Cohen said when he was testifying before Congress, uh, President Trump doesn't tell you what you need to do, you just sort of understand it. And I think a lot of people think he's governing in that sort of way. And plus it has buildings that have 50 to 70 units in them, so each delegation can have its own, its own building. The people who would uh, rein this in are the president's uh, direct political advisors to try to stop this from even getting out um, beforehand. Now, they may try to spin it as being, oh, it was just a suggestion, uh, everybody loves the place, why wouldn't they want to go there? But certainly off the Office of Legal Counsel would be one that would try to rein him in in this regard. I think a suggestion like today will probably end up with the president backtracking on it.